So chat, we have a problem. I wanted to talk to you guys about this. I wanted to talk to you guys about this because this has been a hot topic, but these posts are protected. I'm a little bit late to the party. Might be. So instead, we're gonna watch a video on it. Let's go. In all caps, this woman right No. Here, the discourse is BS. Shut the heck up. Shut the, the hell thread. up! And indeed, she's made a seven-part thread here that's now collected over 500,000 views in the initial tweet, and it's now going kind of viral in gaming circles. And in her thread, <laughs> she comes off <laughs> extremely angry, very I didn't read it fully yet. Game. Like, I literally wanted to wait for the stream to talk about this with you guys. I had this uh, in, in the log as a talking point, and she fucking went protected. I, I need to start taking screenshots, chat. I need to start taking t screenshots. Gamers this is ridiculous. The audacity to criticize corrupt corporations in the gaming industry. She seems to really want to defend. Did she hurt your kids? Oh, yes. She also attempts to defend DI consultation companies. Me personally. And spoiler alert: her claims are very easily disproven. So she's what? taking an extremely unwise position here. We'll get to all that stuff. Should have seen coming. Yeah, First, that's true. Bit. That is true. As soon as there is a tiny bit backlash, these people either do one of two things: either they double down and burn everyone around them, or they hide like the fucking pussies they are. More context on who this even is. With 22,000 followers, she's on Twitch and YouTube, and in her bio says she's UX R&D and game and media production by day, a lore keeper by night. Providing Whoa. additional information in her <laughs> oh. tweet, she says, Give me a moment. Her pronouns are she, her, they, them. What? Um... I thought it's either she, her, or they, them. I thought... I don't understand. I don't understand this. I know... Other words. Let's, let's keep Lord going. Peter by night. Providing additional information in her pin tweet, she says, Hey, new folks, I'm Ray. I work in the gaming industry, in UX R&D plus game production. Okay. I work on various software and hardware for Xbox. I know no, it. <laughs> Xbox, of course. Yeah, the inferior console. <laughs> Making all the console bros mad with this one. Producer and had the privilege of working on the Dota Internationals 2023 and other gaming media projects. Okay. Okay, with that context, sure. let's return to her angry thread and see oh, no. what all she has to say. She begins. Oh, no. Chat, let's, let's wrap. Let's uh, let's get the jacket on for this one, bro. Hold my hand, chat. Hold my hand, please. I I I'm scared. This was part one, saying, DEI consultation companies don't bully studios into changing creative direction. Okay. They act as resources to help creatives portray a lived experience. The Northman is an example of this. Okay, so first of all, usually when people are talking about DI consultation companies, they're often talking about that in reference to video games. Sweet baby ink, anyone? Games, which in her next thread, she also talks about video games. So it's odd that her example of DI consultation companies not bullying studios is a movie. But whatever. That's a movie? Bro, her example is a movie? Okay. okay. Just kind of funny. Allow me to address the main point, which is her claim that DEI consultation companies don't bully studios into changing creative direction. Yeah, so Ray is absolutely incorrect here. There is on-air evidence of, for example, Kim Belair of Sweet Baby Inc. advocating there it for is. creatives to there it is. to threaten others at their workplace. Y'all remember the interview as well? Y'all remember that one interview? Wants to burn down the gaming industry. Huh? Make the video louder? Oh, I'm sorry. Into putting part of the budget towards consultation firms. Um, if you're a creative working in AAA, which I did for many, many years, um, put this stuff up to your higher ups. And if they don't see the value in what you're asking for when you ask for consultants, when you ask for research, Go have a coffee with your marketing team and just terrify them 
with the possibility what? of what's going to happen if they don't give you what you want. She has <laughs> Not bullying! Not bullying! She essentially made the same speech multiple times. I'll play another example of this. In this one, she also does this thing where she's like, Haha, it's just a joke though, but not really. Seriously, you should do this. Have a coffee with marketing so that you- Okay, she's making the same- Okay. Same thing, so it's not just a joke. You absolutely terrify them. If it's a, like a one time, sure. Two different re presentations, this ain't a joke. By telling them, here's what's gonna happen if you don't do this. And I say that sometimes like as a joke, I say talk to marketing and scare them, but consider honestly the possibility that like mm -hmm. those yeah. people have to sit and yeah. deal with everyone who's going to come at them if this is a mistake. What about the, all the people that are coming at them for what you are making them do? Like, for what you are pushing into the game? What about all the backlash, huh? What about, what about Ubisoft right now? I, I bet Ubisoft really likes your thing, way of thinking right now. They have a vested interest in reducing harm and of keeping the sentiment around your project positive. And there's a genuine value of inclusion there that's not just ethical, stock whistling. it's monetary. And yeah. that makes it for a lot of people in marketing, like I was once, a genuine valid discussion to have very, very early. And sometimes um, that's actually where you can find your consulting budget. It's pretty gross how these people openly gaslight others, whether it's other people in general or their coworkers, trying to say that it's harmful and unethical to not use consultation firms. Isn't that convenient? Hey, if you don't use our company, if you don't pay us, you're unethical and harmful. Her claims that there's a monetary benefit. Yeah, sorry, I guess the better example is Concord. Don't play the game then, okay? We didn't enjoy con Concord. These DIY companies are the peak of capitalism, which they seem to hate. Create problem, then sell solution. I hate it when they are trying, like when they are making a problem that they can sell you a solution for, when there wasn't a problem to begin with. I hate the shit. Are also highly questionable, and that's me putting it lightly. There's been so many examples yes, of Concord. DI related games Isn't lately. It? For example, Concord, Dustborn, yep. SSK the JL, Tales of Kinzarazau, that have been absolute financial disasters. Back to Ray's thread, there's part two where she's- Yeah, but it's- But it's the biggest fault for them failing. It's- the biggest yeah, it fault that all those games are failing. Don't don't get it twisted. Do not get it twisted. It says games are not falling apart due to some conspiracy. They're falling apart due to insanely high interest rates and poor investment decisions. We're also in a recession. So what exactly is she calling a conspiracy theory? Huh? The implication seems to be that she's saying that DI companies are not harming games in any way. That that's just a conspiracy theory, in which it certainly isn't. That said, sure, they're not like solely responsible for a lot of these games' failures, but they're definitely a factor. She they also definitely said are that a factor. gaming companies are falling apart due to insanely high interest rates and her evidence back- Why would you even make- what? I don't- Because of the layoffs? Wikipedia as a source is crazy work? Yeah. Yeah, when they already in school fucking told you, do not source Wikipedia, source the source in Wikipedia. Or off of Wikipedia. First diversity and stuff is a factor that makes bad games even worse. That is true. That is true. Backing those claims up are an image of Wikipedia where they talk about gaming industry layoffs and a second image that talks about tech company layoffs. So once again, she's essentially wrong on this because it's debatable whether high interest rates or low interest rates can be more negatively impactful to the gaming industry, but the argument for high interest rates being an issue for the gaming industry is that investment firms may seek alternative investments that are less risky. And when it comes to layoffs, the evidence that she seems to be using, the argument is more so that low interest rates can actually cause more video game layoffs because they potentially lead to more mergers and acquisitions, which can then lead to more redundancy and then cause layoffs. So 
This is just so confusing. Why does she even bring this up? Like, interest rates? Yeah, interest rates for what? Like, inflation? This woman's arguments are all over the place. She really does not seem to know what she's talking about here. Oh, and she did include a third image, which is this one. As you Going out of business. You can see this does nothing to help her at all. Now, to be fair, yeah. she also said poor investment decisions by the gaming companies, which is true. Yeah, they're which, definitely doing yeah. that. By the way, paying for DI consultation is a part of those poor uh. investments. <laughs> This is definitely one of them. Decisions. Finally, yeah, things like recession and inflation are also going to be factors. Now, moving on, it looks like she's... Like, yes, they're going to be factors, but why bring this up in a DEI conversation? Given up attempting to use evidence for her claims, which, while that wasn't going well for her, at least it was something. She's just saying a lot of very specific terms that she doesn't even understand herself to try to deflect responsibility. Ah, she's trying to use big boy words. Thing, the rest of her thread just evolved. So she appears insults. smarter. So yeah, very angry person here. The good news is reading this is going to be really entertaining, at least in my opinion. So let's see uh, what she's seething about next. Four, nobody is coming to save you. No! <laughs> no! No incels are going to band together to create an immaculately gatekept industry for you. I feel like the insults did come together and did not by conquered. I feel like the insults did band together. The gamers rise up, am I right? The existential dread you grapple with has everything to do with the fact you weren't loved enough and that <laughs> most people find you insufferable. Okay, that's, that's crazy. This is crazy people talk. Five, no matter how much muscle mass you grind out at the gym, people what? will still find you obnoxious and repulsive because you never learned how to listen to other folks' lived experiences. Dude, she's completely lost it, man. <laughs> she's lost the plot. Love how she somehow understands interest in economics better than the actual economic advices when if you ask five advices, you'll get six different answers. She's the expert, and you are in the wrong. Insults are not going to bed together. <laughs> Esmond's chat would like to disagree. I'm just so mad now. Six. The idea oh my God, of freedom more. and independence has been sold to you so that you don't feel any internal responsibility to care for or feel interconnected to others within your community. Oh no. Now she's done a mistake. She has attacked the freedom of America. She has attacked the freedom of America. Oh no. Oh no. Three. Amended. <laughs> Stop giving what? yourself psychosis. We are what? in an incredibly fragile state. Because not all of us have mental health care. But stop freaking lurking conspiracy theory boards when you don't have support. Well, what kind of... We are in an incredibly fragile state because not all of you have mental health care. But stop fucking lurking conspiracy theory boards when you don't have... What is she saying? What does this have to do with defending the I I don't know! This is a crazy person! This person needs to be put under lock and be studied! This person needs to be studied! I don't know what's going on here! This is a new form of thinking! What? Oh, and seven. This one! Gonna, gonna carry us for a while. Sh I mean, yes! Indies are just the better games at the moment because they actually make by people who care for the games! Yes! Indies are carrying the game industry more or less right now. Like, 
But you can't say that there's no good AAA games. We had Elden Ring two years ago. We have had Black Myth Wukong, who outsold Elden Ring. Like, bro. Best bit of advice, don't insult people that didn't buy or like your product. Bro, as soon as it goes into insulting, it's over. You can't have an argument with that person anymore. It's over. They they have no point anymore as soon as they try to insult you. Shout out to amazing powerhouse indie game devs who work to the dang bone. I love y'all. Okay, well, yeah, indie devs are awesome, but my gosh, dude, what is wrong with this person? I love how she also demonizes working out and simultaneously acts like she cares about mental health. There's been numerous studies yeah, that link the benefits of working out to not just physical health, but also mental health. There's also some irony with that because a lot of people at the gym, not everyone, sure, but a lot of people shadow boxing her ex boyfriend. <laughs> well, there tend to be super nice. Way nice. So Terrible back move was the best advertisement for the game. It was for this segment. It Let me know was. What you think about her uh, her thread in the comments. It's so hilarious that she only lasted two posts of providing evidence or attempting to. Then she but just wait. Went full rage mode. And yeah, I'm repeating myself now. But my gosh, that was funny. There's if more. You enjoyed my coverage. Please also consider liking and subscribing to the channel. But wait, there's GTA. more. The year is 2036. Oh no. I boot up GTA 7 Extended Deluxe Definitive Edition. What? The main That's menu is literally a shopping cart. That's button. generous. The game is a monthly subscription, and to steal any car, I need to buy the $20 lockpick battle pass. If the game I detect you want to use an insult, you get permabanned. My yep. feeling when. <laughs> the only thing wrong with that is 2036 on GTA 7. We won't even have GTA 6 by then, man. That's the only thing wrong with that. You are gonna play a remade version of GTA 5 then. Either way. There's a second one. Oh, welcome back, guys. We've got a quick channel update before we get to the news, before the main topic. Because yesterday, something terrible happened. Oh, In no. the comment section of my own video, oh, I no. saw people laughing at me, making no. fun of the pronunciation of the word inclusivity. Well, at least I hope I'm saying it right now. And uh, thanks, I guess, for the correction. <laughs> Not sure how you can ever... Bro, who the, f Bro, who the fuck cares as long as it's understandable? As long as it's understandable, man. Like, I don't even fucking know if English is his first fucking language. And even, even so, I know plenty of first English, like first language English speaker that suck ass. Next Rockstar title is in 2030, next GTA in 2040. Yeah, that sounds about more right. Yeah, 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 that sounds believable. Okay, you guys, but you have my thanks. Now, on to the main topic. So, do you remember that situation I talked about the other day with that DEI, defending influencer, who also, like, worked yeah. at Xbox or something? Well, yeah. we've got a very amusing update on that situation. <laughs> also, quick side note, it turns out Asmongold reacted to that video. That was pretty cool. Glad. Hey, I've been wanting to watch that, but I've been wanting to look at this entire situation myself first. I enjoyed that one. So really quick, this was the context. She made this thread all upset about the discourse. The discourse being gamers criticizing companies in gaming and also criticizing DI consultation companies. All of that being something that once again, she seems very upset about. In my coverage, I gave a reasonable response and provide yeah. evidence as to why a number of her points are just wrong. The rest of her thread was her devolving into just a barrage of insult attempts yep. that completely <laughs> flopped. Uh, <sighs> you think she hates men? Do you guys think she's just... Mis uh, not misogynistic, sorry. A misandrist? Like, on one hand, she's insulting insults and on the other hand she's insulting the gym bros she's attacking both sides like i feel like she just hates men just a woman because <laughs> it really just made her look extremely petty and many people said that she just sounded like she was projecting at the very least it was fortunately amusing seeing her go all rage mode though provided some decent entertainment for the day so yeah that's just some very quick context for anyone who may have missed the prior segment although of course if you want to see my full take Consider watching that for yourself. But now with that context, let's move on to the let's aforementioned go. update. We've got Thomas Mahler here saying, I'm the director behind both Ori games and I don't know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> no way! No way! There's no way! <laughs> God, Red Hat, 
how you were affiliated with Ori <gasps> in response to that Ray person saying, hey, new folks, I'm Ray. I work in the gaming industry in UX, R&D, plus game production. I oh work on my various God. software and hardware for Xbox. I now work as an independent media producer and had the privilege of working on the Dota International hey, with like and other gaming media projects. <laughs> but importantly for this context, the bottom left image showing Ori. Given the timing of how he's saying this now, I can only oh presume he just recently saw her unhinged rant. Okay, so get this. Oh my As I'm God. looking at this conversation and recording this video, I see that she's actually just yeah, protected yeah. her entire- There it is, yeah. That's uh, what I mentioned to you. I wanted to look at her shit on myself, but there it is. Yeah, pussy as shit, man. As I told you, either they double down or they hide like the fucking rats they are. Which isn't fair to rats. Rats are actually really cute. Like the fucking cockroaches they are. Like the fucking cockroaches they hide. Twitter account. That's going to make covering this a little bit more complicated because as you can see, it's also affecting her responses and we're now unable to see them. However, I've got a tab that has not yet refreshed. So while we won't hey! be able to see all of her responses, we can at least see some of them. It looks like she responded. Even cockroaches have more honor. That is honestly true. Did you know if a uh, if a cockroach gets touched by a human, the cockroach disappears and goes to clean itself? It runs away to clean itself. Cockroaches think we are dirty. I might just let that sink in. Cockroaches are disgusted by humans. <laughs> like, <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah. To him saying, I mean, yeah, I worked with Xbox you know, user research. I was the URA for global publishing during 2018 to 2020. Nice to meet you. I also worked on various other titles during my time there, but got a better job opportunity on the Xbox community team. You've oh, got to be kidding me. Flexing. Why do you see so many community managers or like community uh, user research? So she didn't work on the game. So she did not work on the game. Team people who are some of the most unhinged and like angry at everything. It's seriously becoming a recurring theme. Anyways, that wasn't the only response that she made to him. Because there's also this one where she said, Oh, I have a question for you. Do you ever at any point feel Microsoft has shoved DEI expectations at you or pressured you? Are you for now real? Reminding me of that nap person from Good Day. Are you for real? Oh my god, not her. Not the grow dot one. Nah. Show, where after Asmongold gave a kind response, she then tried to get him in some sort of gotcha. It's funny how these people don't realize that they're the ones acting all crazy, and they try and pretend like everyone I else is a problem. So Going back to the situation with Ray, Thomas responded to her, saying, Well, that could explain it. I didn't want to cause you any trouble. I just saw you posting that you worked on Ori, and I had no idea who you are. Since you're calling people names online, I thought it was important to inform people that you never actually worked for Moon Studios and that yep. you didn't ever directly engage with anyone yep. at Moon. Always be nice to people, Ray, even those you disagree with. <laughs> that is such a based response, man. What a giga chat. Oh my god. Actual giga chat out here, man. Destroy her! While some people were amused by his response there, other people seem like they're extremely upset by it. Destroy it's them amazing how upset yeah. these people are, simply because this guy wanted to clarify that the woman who recently went viral for making a completely unhinged rant is not directly involved with his company. There are some other tweets that we're unable to see because Ray went into protected mode. However, we can also see that Thomas responded to these ones, saying, I thought the post was pretty clear and concise. By the way, you're not in the credits on any Ori games. So unless you change your name at some So she's still claiming that she did work with them. Yikes. Based off that context, we can presume Yikes. that possibly Ray has an issue with the other response that Mahler made. And so she did double down. <laughs> and now the most pathetic thing possible is so she did both. to no one's surprise, some of the corpo journalists from Kotaku are getting involved. Quote tweeting Mahler's response White Nights, man. and yeah, man. posting this article from 2022 from Kotaku that says, Report, Ori Studio accused of being oppressive, sexist workplace. Developers say Moon Studios' no BS policy gave founders license to bully and demean. Even if any of the accusations in that article are what? actually true, it's really gross how these journalists, well, drag this stuff up two years later using the alleged victims in the article as their own personal army. Though it is painting a very clear picture 
none of the people angry with Mahler seem to have any responsive merit. They're either just like seething in their responses, or- I'm glad she, he responded. She would have dragged the studio down. Yeah, I'm really glad he responded too. Like, Ori is a really great game. I've not finished it, but it's a really good game. <sighs> Reposting this. However, plenty of people would also further defend Mahler. For example, this response saying, It's always the same untalented, useless, lazy, hate-filled people that come crawling out of the woodwork at any opportunity to try and drag someone successful down. I hope he's not stupid enough to fall for it. If they make good games, people will buy them. Ma true! 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 It can be a fucking shitty person be behind that. It can be a fucking shitty company behind that, but as long as the game is good, the players will not care. As long as the game is good, the players will not care, man. Good product sell. They do. They do. Adam Savvy getting involved, saying, Was it oppressive because he said no once in a while to someone? Given that she admits people don't get to choose how she represents. <gasps> Boo hoo! <laughs> I bet. Bro, it's the kind of people that say that if you said no to them or had a slight disagreement, you got arrested. It's, it's that kind of people. I'm so sick and tired to seeing these kind of people, man. Can we stop giving those people a platform? Like, bro. Presents them. I see no reason for anyone to take anything she says seriously. Yeah. She referencing the uh, she's some journalist. fucking clown. However, someone would respond to Savvy saying, "I mean, it's Kotaku, so take it with a grain of salt." But if true, I'd think that's not a way to talk at the workplace, especially when you are CEO. One screen cap of a work chat chat in the report shows Carl writing, Nobody cares what you think, really, followed by Mala writing, Lol, you're a retard. <laughs> <laughs> Top of the hat, thanks for the follow. <laughs> Though it's not clear who the remarks are directed at, Wenshi Beat also reports that after one long meeting, Mala concluded by typing, I really need a woman. <laughs> right here <laughs> oh, bro this is just some fucking gamer chat logs this is your fucking average game is this called fucking talk <laughs> I, I don't see anything bad here <laughs> Leak Discord DM actually sounds like a man I'd like to work for, not gonna lie. <laughs> Including an image seemingly from the Kotaku article, to which Savvy responds saying, This is the worst they have. That really. Literally! Not only is there zero context. But like he could have been talking to someone he's friends with. Like, bro, I bet all of you, all of you have told your friends to fucking game end themselves like bro oh, bro we like oh my god all the time yeah all the time there it is this is how people talk to each other when they're friends too. we just use slurs the, i really need a woman <laughs> remark is probably from a string of jokes being made the other person reports saying sure friends but truth is, there is no friends at work. Bro! <laughs> Retard detected! Especially if you're on the higher position than your supposed friends. Sure, not really a big deal, but still not a good look. And the current final response in this conversation here from Savvy saying, People will value those words accordingly. If that's a red flag for you, that's totally okay. For me, it isn't. I'd actually hate to work at a place that didn't use that kind of language. You can still have corpo structure mixed with friend structure. Just so yeah. long as you have respect for who's in charge at the end of the day. But yeah, everyone in your workplace is different. So you saw this part, which is some of the evidence that they're trying to use against Mahler. <laughs> However, there's also a little bit more than that. Oh. In this next section, they say that Mahler insisted on having the main character's origin story revolve around something very dark. And that Oh my lord! What? That 
allegedly Mahler wanted to do this to motivate the character to end up being a very cool character who does very cool things. And sure, that. Bruh. Like, I am. Shit, I'm all for including darker themes in media, be it shows, movies, anime, games. I'm all for that, but this is a bit far. That's a very dark and very terrible thing to happen to that character. It is just a character, though, and many characters throughout fiction have had equally bad or even worse things happen to them. I think we can confidently say that- Like, like saying, because they got awkward, they are now a badass, like, huh? Can't touch dog sexual stuff. I just can't stomach it. That's completely fair. That's fair and valid. These journalists would absolutely hate Berserk. And my god. There it is. I can only imagine what they'd say about my last Hearts of Iron 4 campaign. Anyways, it's pretty amusing how all of this started once again because Ray wanted to make that giant unhinged <sighs> rant. She just really wanted yeah. to defend. Bro, and you can't even say that she wanted, like, that there was some, like... <laughs> you can't even say that she was cloud farming, because she doesn't even have a blue check mark. She does not even have a blue check mark. She 100% believes what she's saying here. She 100% believes, be believes what she's saying here. Fucking delusional. And DEI. Gotta defend those DEI consultation firms. Go figure that all of this would attract gaming journalists to run to her Whoa. defense. Hopefully Ray will have some self-reflection while she's protected on Twitter and realize that all of this was really unnecessary and unhinged. And, you know, there's no reason to act like this, trying to bootleg for these consultation firms and all that. Maybe she'll actually turn a new leaf. Let me know what you think about all of Jesus this in the comments. Christ. And as always, thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed my coverage, please also like consider his videos. liking and or subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next one. I really do like his videos. I used to watch them all the time before I started doing reaction content and looked at stuff myself. But goddamn, she's delusional. She didn't even defend the AI. She didn't even put up any arguments or combat. She made one post having a little bit of evidence, but the rest of her is being a lunatic. Literally! Nice video? Yeah, very nice video. Clip, 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 clip. Very nice video. Thanks for watching, YouTube.